And welcome back to Hannity, the controversial 2014 Bo Bergdahl prisoner swap that resulted in the release of the Taliban 5 has now come under a great deal of scrutiny, especially now that Bergdahl has been charged with desertion and, quote, misbehavior before the enemy. Now, for months, one of the leading voices against that prisoner swap has been none other than Donald Trump. Watch this. I talk about Sergeant Bergdahl. We get Bergdahl, a traitor. No, we get a traitor, and they get five of the people that they most coveted in Gitmo, which we're keeping open, by the way, 100%, that we'll fill it up. We get Bergdahl, they get five of the great killers that they've coveted for a period of nine years, and they got them. And those guys are now back on the battlefield trying to kill us all, and we got a traitor. And now two former platoon members of Bo Bergdahl have decided to fully endorse Donald Trump for president. Joining me now to explain their decision are former Army sergeant and leader of Bergdahl's platoon, Evan Butto, as well as Bergdahl's former roommate, specialist Cody Full. Evan, the main question I have is how many people died and how many people were injured searching for Bo, and did you know from the beginning that he was a deserter? Yes, from the very beginning, uh, everyone knew he's a deserter. Um, myself, my leadership, their leadership, their leadership, every, everybody knew he was a deserter. It was no, no question. And, and for your first question, for me personally, I can say uh, two soldiers died looking for him. They're from my company. Um, now, I can't put that gun in, in Bergdahl's hand, but where they were when they were ambushed and got killed, they would not have been there if it wasn't for Bergdahl walking away. Um, so in my opinion, him walking away caused their deaths. And, and, and yeah. that's not to mention the countless injuries to other soldiers, whether they were you know, actually hurt and sent to Germany or anything, or just the life that and, we and, had to live while we were looking for And all of you within days, you knew he had deserted and you were all told to sign a non-disclosure agreement that you couldn't talk, tell anybody that you knew he was a deserter, correct? We were. We were told to keep our mouths shut as we went home on leave and came back and forth. And, and you and had to sign like a that. piece of paper, though. Yes. And that, that ever happened, Cody? That happened to you? Did that ever happen before or after? No. No, that's never happened before. You know, and I, I think that's why this election is very important. Uh, if you vote Hillary, the same kind of bad deals and this, you know, is just going to keep continuing as opposed to the Trump administration, who I think values veterans and the VA more than Hillary would. Well, certainly Trump, Donald Trump has brought the military up, especially the VA more than anybody. So you made this decision as it relates to Donald Trump. Why did you decide, Evan, to come, become public with this? Listen, to I'm public. just a guy. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I'm just a guy. I go to work. I work hard. I'm out of the military. Um, I take care of my family. Um, you know, I try to go to as many Mariners games as I can. I'm just a regular guy. And everyone else in this country, just the majority, the silent majority, who's just like me and just like Cody, there's division in this country. There's Republicans, there's Democrats, there's Democrats, there's Republicans, and you got to pick a side. And it's, yeah. there's a wedge that's been driven into this country forever. And Donald Trump is here to blow that establishment up, that establishment that only cares about their own special interests, and he has pride in this country, in America, and Cody, because that's you how you make way? America great again. Cody? Uh, the reason why I'm voting for Donald Trump is because Hillary Clinton came out and told the mothers and widows of the Benghazi victims that their sons were killed over a video. Well, when those same mothers and widows came out and said that's what Hillary told them, she proceeded to call them a liar. If a person is willing to call a gold star mother or a widow a liar, there is no lie she will not tell the American public. Well said. All right, guys, good to see you, and uh, we appreciate your outspokenness. Thank you, and thanks for what you do.